Hello there. I thought I'd try out something new. I have made a sort of a smash book. I've actually made this book before, but I had a different cover for it, and I decided on changing it so it would actually be a bit more easy to handle, really. And then I decided on putting on just a rough back back piece to it, and then I made a faux metal cover for it. I also melted UT and then I stamped a stamp from Vilda Stamps there and I had actually put some Versafine ink on it uh, no Versamark actually, Versamark ink on it so it would it would release itself easier and I stamped this Dream as if you could live forever but live as if you only have today and then I put on some gold and Inca gold and to finish things off I actually put on some platinum Inca gold as well. And I have used some paper clips here and I've also made a brick wall with uh, some kind of a modelling paste over that uh, brick wall stencil from Crafters Workshop. Could it be that? I'm not sure, it could be that, that place. And then I went mad when it came to decorating this book. I mean, I have started playing around with those ring plastic bits again, and I do like them a lot. So I thought I'd make this into a really crazy assembly of my ring plastic things. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to work with this at all, because I do believe that these will actually get stuck to almost anything, really. But I just wanted to give it a go, see what it would look like, and allow it, like how it clinkers and clunkers. You know, you could make a wind, wind, some sort of a wind chime with this. Because it isn't too bad a sounder, you know. You could actually make something out of it, but let's move on. I have used some more stamps from Vilda Stamps here. This one is called Today, or as, I'm sorry, I love you more today than yesterday, but less than tomorrow. And here's another one uh, in Swedish which says that if you have had a lot of hurries, you actually have to stop and wait for your soul. And then the final one is also in Swedish, too much of the good stuff could be just wonderful. And I have die cut the shapes with Tim Holtz's different dies. This is the pocket watch frame and here is two labels. Or And here are the cogs and the film strip. I actually die cut a film strip and uh, emboss, uh, heat set it with that embossing, no, with that heat tool on shrink plastic. So it actually turned out really nicely. Here I have um, die cut a cog from Spellbinders. But as you can see, I didn't get those center pieces off. I actually succeeded the best with the cogs from Tim Holtz's Sizzix big dies. So, you know, this could be fun or not. You never know. But at least I'm happy that I tried it out. So, I think I'll just sign off right now. Smash booking, by the way, is the new latest craze for me. So I really do like to smash things in or at least make these books. I never know when I'm going to be able to do anything with them, but this is as it is right now anyway. All right, I'm going to sign off, and I hope you do feel inspired to make your own plastic charms. I mean, these are really fun and lightweight as well. Bye-bye.